everybody, welcome to The Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be all about interest-led learning in the middle school years. Now, if you have a middle schooler, you are going to know that interest-led learning has become a lot more difficult now than in the elementary years. At least for me it has, and if it hasn't for you, let me know your secret down in the comments. Um, as kids get older, they don't think the simplest things are cool anymore. Gone are the days of like the simple cardboard boxes or Play-Doh. Uh, strewing is a lot more difficult. I can't just leave wooden blocks out and hope for the best. Uh, now that has been replaced with like Sculpey and Sculpey tools and painting and complicated Lego sets and things are just a lot different. Not in a bad way. There are so many things about middle school that I absolutely love but I have had to get very creative with interest-led learning in the middle school years. And I definitely did not want to abandon it because some of our best learning has always come from following Emily's interests. So I knew that that is still what I really wanted to do. Recently, her interests have been all wrapped up in archery. She joined a 4-H archery club here locally or as local as it gets for us. Um, and that has really, really been our focus this school year for her first year of middle school. We have started doing it as a family. It is something that we all really, really love. Um, we support her in her archery journey. We have gone to 4-H practices weekly. Uh, we have gone to many, many different tournaments. And the cool thing about it is there are so many different ways to use that interest for academic and educational purposes. Um, some I have been super blessed with because it's been very easy. I mean, archery itself lends itself to some really awesome science lessons. I mean, physics, like that's like the easiest one, right? Um, the history of archery has been kind of easy to weave in there too. I and mean, that goes all the way back to ancient times. Um, so those have been the easier ones. Some of the more difficult things, like uh, when I want to sneak math in, luckily 4-H requires her to do scoring. Uh, so do the tournaments. So she has to know the different uh, rings on the 3D or on the paper targets. She has to be able to write her scores down, um, tally those scores up, have a running total going. So that's a way that we sneak in math, which has been really great because I can say, oh, let's practice. Don't forget to grab, you know, a scorecard and we'll print one out and she'll go out and practice with her scorecard. And it's like, oh, let's sneak in some math that way without, you know, telling her. Um, another way that we have been sneaking in math is by using a uh, yard, like measuring tape. It's a hundred foot. Um, and we put it on the feet side and for 4-H and her tournaments, she has to do all of her distances in yards. So I will say, hey, I want you to shoot 10 yards and she has to convert that um, into feet. So, you know, 10 times three is 30. And so she knows that she has to go stand at the 30 foot mark. So that's been another fun way to do it uh, that we've, you know, incorporated a little bit of math with, with uh, her archery. Another really cool thing that we have been able to do as a family is participate in um, tournaments all over the state of Florida. And so while I don't necessarily count it as like an academic thing, she has met people from all different walks of life. She has seen people shoot all kinds of different bows. She has made friends with kids from six to adults that are you know older than I am. Um, and I think that in itself has so much like, educational value. I hate to even use the word socialization, but let's be honest. Um, in middle school, that does become more important that they are making friends and, you know, socializing because they tend to want to be like introverts and not converse with the world. Or maybe that's just mine who went from outgoing to not. Um, but she has to, right? In 4-H, they partner them with three to four strangers by the beginning of the day. And at the end of the day, they've become friends. They're scoring each other. They're laughing. They're, you know, making jokes. And so that has been phenomenal. Another really, really cool thing that I have seen come out of this entire journey are uh, things that are not necessarily measurable or things that you don't check off of a curriculum checklist. And that is like her maturing or her speaking up for herself where she wouldn't have before, right? Like, hey, that's not the score I got. I got this. Um, her leadership skills. I mean, she has like seriously 
stepped up and taken charge and just, you know, oh, I'll keep score if you don't want to. That's fine. Um, her confidence, right? Like she knows she's good at archery. And so she confidently steps up there and is like, hey, I've got this. Um, and then obviously the physical side of it, right? Like the fact that she's doing archery and not only is she doing it, but she's doing exercises that will make her a better archer. Um, she has set goals for herself and she, you know, has set steps to achieve those goals. Like it has just been such a phenomenal journey. Um, and the other big thing that I have learned so far with interest led learning in middle school versus elementary school is I did a lot more searching for her interest in elementary school. And I was like constantly throwing spaghetti at the wall and just seeing what stuck. And in middle school, I'm still doing that, but it's really more her guiding versus me. It's her being like, I'm really, really interested in this. And then me getting creative and finding opportunities to make that happen. So it's kind of like I steered the ship and now she's steering the ship and I'm just navigating. Um, so that's been a really, really cool development. It's, it's been fun. It's been something we have all really enjoyed doing. I love that we get to do it as a family. Um, in fact, something really cool that just happened at the last tournament we went to is, um, my dad, myself and Emily had a three generation, three way tie on a coon shoot, um, which is shooting in the dark, um, at targets that have a glow stick in their kill zone. Um, and I can't think of any other sport where that is even possible um, to have a three generation three way tie. And so that is really, really cool. And it's also a memory that we made that um, will stick with her forever. And so I think that in itself is totally one of the reasons why we have bent over backwards to be interest led learners is because those things when she's interested and when she's learning, they stick with her. Those memories last forever. The things that we learn, you know, they don't go anywhere. Like she really, really thrives on that. Um, another really cool thing that we've done, I don't think I mentioned yet, is we were researching, um, you know, really great archers because when you want to become a better archer, you, you know, learn from better archers. Um, and she found a Olympic archer who has no arms. Um, and she is like obsessed with watching her YouTube videos because she thinks it is so cool that she overcame the challenges that were set before her because she wanted to be an archer and she's a great one. And so that's been something else that has led to some really, really amazing conversations, um, in our homeschool and just around, um, mindset and overcoming challenges before you and the conversations that this sport that this um, interest has led to that, you know, are not even necessarily academic conversations, but I know have made her a better person have been phenomenal. And I will also say, I think that is probably one of the biggest ways that we have learned so far in middle school has been through amazing conversations. Like, don't get me wrong. We still love books. We still love games. We love field trips and hands-on things. Like I love all those things, but I have seen that twist and turn where, uh, a lot of our education and our, you know, connection, instead of it being based on those things has been based on conversation now. And that has been so cool to just kind of watch her become her own person and be able to enjoy the person that she's becoming. Um, and to be able to share those interests with her. I mean, she was super cool when she was playing with Play-Doh, but I'm going to be honest. I really prefer shooting a bow over playing with Play-Doh. Now, before I go, I would absolutely love to hear everything about your middle schoolers and their interests. So let me know down in the comments, like, what are they interested in? Are you using it in your homeschool? Are you participating with them? Um, and if so, are you getting creative with some of the ways that you're learning alongside them? I would just absolutely love to know because honestly, I have learned middle schoolers are actually pretty cool. <laughs>